Northrop Grumman is developing the next generation, RQ-4B, which has a 50% payload increase, larger wingspan 130.9 feet and longer fuselage 47.6 feet, and a new generator to provide 150% more electrical output. Three RQ-4B air vehicles, Block 20, were initially ordered plus a further five ordered in November 2005. Block 20 aircraft also has an upgraded sensor suite. The first Block 20 Global Hawk completed a maiden flight in April 2007 and the first was delivered in June 2008. 26 Block 30 with a Signals Intelligence SIGINT payload will be ordered and 15 Blocks 40 with the Multi-Platform Radar Technology Insertion Program MPRTIP radar to enter service from 2011. The U.S. Air Force plans a total of 54 air vehicles. The Block 40 Global Hawk, with the Multi-Platform Radar Technology Insertion Program MPRTIP, has been selected by NATO for the Alliance Ground Surveillance AGS program. The original proposal had manned and unmanned elements but the Alliance decided to go ahead with a UAV-only program in September 2007. Northrop Grumman will be the prime contractor. The Australian Defence Force has plans to purchase a squadron of Global Hawks to replace a number of P-3C Orion Maritime Patrol aircraft. The RQ-4 Global Hawk is a high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aircraft system with an integrated sensor suite that provides intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance or ISR, capability worldwide. Global Hawk's mission is to provide a broad spectrum of ISR collection capability to support joint combatant forces in worldwide peacetime, contingency, and wartime operations. The Global Hawk complements manned and space reconnaissance systems by providing persistent near real time coverage using imagery intelligence, or IMINT, and signals intelligence, or SIGINT, sensors. Global Hawk is produced in four distinct blocks. Seven Block 10 aircraft were procured but were retired from the inventory in FY11. Block 20s have initially fielded with IMINT only capabilities, but four Block 20s will be converted to an EQ-4 communication relay configuration carrying the Battlefield Airborne Communication Node BACN payload. Block 30 is a multi-intelligence platform that simultaneously carries electro-optical, infrared, synthetic aperture radar SAR, and high and low band SIGINT sensors. Block 30 Initial Operating Capability IOC, was declared in August 2011. Eleven Block 30s are currently fielded with IMIN sensors and support every geographic combatant command as well as combat missions in operations Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom, New Dawn. Block 30s also supported Operation Odyssey Dawn in Libya and humanitarian relief efforts during Operation Tomodachi in Japan. SIGINT sensors will be added to all Block 30s starting in fiscal 2012. Block 40 will carry the Radar Technology Insertion Program RTIP, active electronically scanned array radar which will provide SAR and ground moving target indicator GMTI, data. Block 40 IOC is projected in fiscal 2014. Global Hawk is flown by a Launch Recovery Element LRE, and a Mission Control Element MCE. The LRE is located at the aircraft base and functions to launch and recover the aircraft while en route to and from the target area. The MCE controls the Global Hawk for the bulk of the ISR mission. Like the LRE, the MCE is manned by one pilot but adds a sensor operator to the crew. Command and control data links enable complete dynamic control of the aircraft. The pilot workstations in the MCE and LRE are the control and display interface cockpit, providing aircraft health and status, sensor status, and a means to alter the navigational track of the aircraft. From this station, the pilot communicates with outside entities to coordinate the mission, air traffic control, airborne controllers, ground controllers, other ISR assets. 
The sensor operator workstation provides the capability to dynamically update the collection plan in real time, initiate sensor calibration, and monitor sensor status. The sensor operator also assists the exploitation node with image quality control, target deck prioritization, and scene tracking to ensure fluid operations. The system offers a wide variety of employment options. The long range and 28 plus hour endurance allow tremendous flexibility in meeting mission requirements. Global Hawk began as an advanced concept technology demonstration in 1995. The system was determined to have military utility and provide warfighters with an evolutionary high altitude, long endurance ISR capability. While still a developmental system, the Global Hawk has been deployed operationally to support overseas contingency operations since November 2001. The Global Hawk UAS provides near continuous adverse weather, day, night, wide area reconnaissance, and surveillance. In the RQ-4 name, the R is the Department of Defense designation for reconnaissance, and Q means an unmanned aircraft system. The 4 refers to the series of purpose-built remotely piloted aircraft systems. The E in EQ-4 delineates the communication configuration of the BACN-equipped aircraft. The Global Hawk is operated by the 12th Reconnaissance Squadron at Beale Air Force Base, Calif, and the 348RG at Grand Forks AFB, ND. The 1 Rupee provides formal training and is located at Beale AFB. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian is the latest variant of the MQ-9 series RPAS currently operated by the United States, United Kingdom, Italy, France, and soon Spain, the Netherlands, and Belgium. MQ-9B adds several key enhancements to the proven MQ-9 series allowing for better performance, lower operating and sustainment costs, and access to all classes of airspace. The Royal Air Force RAF, is acquiring Sky Guardian as part of its Protector RGM K-1 program and is scheduled for first delivery in the early 2020s. Belgium also selected Sky Guardian for its defense needs. The RPA is being considered as an option for the Australian Defence Force, who chose GAASI to supply the RPA system for Project Air 7003. The US State Department has given the green light for Belgium to buy MQ-9B Sky Guardian drones from General Atomics, a deal that could be worth about $600 million. The deal would include four MQ-9B drones, two ground stations, five and DOS-4 multispectral targeting systems, 15 embedded GPS, inertial navigation systems, five and APY-8 link synthetic aperture radars, and five detect and avoid systems. It also includes spares, testing, and training equipment necessary to support a five-year period of operations, the Defense Security Cooperation Agency said in a news release. Belgium announced its plan to buy the Sky Guardian last year, around the same time it declared its intent to buy Lockheed Martin's F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. This all in decision to pursue US equipment stands in stark contrast to Germany, which decided against the F-35 as well as the Sky Guardian despite an intense lobbying campaign by the US industry. The Sky Guardian was developed by General Atomics as a version of the MQ-9 Reaper that could fly through civil airspace in the US and Europe without special permission from the US Federal Aviation Administration or NATO. The company touts the aircraft as having a longer endurance and lifespan compared to the Block 5 Reaper. According to DSCA, Belgium will use the Sky Guardian drones for domestic security and increase interoperability with NATO allies. The current fleet of Belgian air component aircraft have proven insufficient to support sustained and persistent ISR operations, the DSCA release stated. The proposed sale will enable the Belgian air component to conduct persistent and wide area ISR, including target acquisition, target designation, providing precision coordinates for global positioning system GPS, aided munitions, battle damage assessment, signal intelligence, communication, and data relays. The Senate is almost certain to approve the sale of the MQ-9B to Belgium, which is a member of NATO. At that point, negotiations will formally begin, and final quantities and prices may change during that process. <laughs>